This is going to be our final video in modeling our dog. So far we've gone through, we've blocked out the basic shapes of the dog and we have added some detail. So now we're into the bit where we want to more or less finalize it. So uh, I'm gonna go back into object mode here now um, and I'm going to turn on um, smooth mesh so we can see how this dog looks in a more organic sort of shape. So press your um, three key or your two key on your keyboard and you'll see the mesh. If you three keys on, you'll see the mesh over the top of it, your control mesh. And with the three key, you can see um, the, the uh, detailed version without that control mesh over the top. Uh, so what we're gonna do is go back into vertex edit mode and have a look at our side view here. And you can see that the, um, you can see that um, the mesh is kind of like shrunk in a little bit. You can see that it's not quite lining up exactly we don't have some of the details there that we want but at this point we can actually start to add some of that in so we can just select our vertices here and we can just start to pull them out and into the sorts of positions that we want them to be so what we're doing here is we're just at editing our mesh very slightly so that the, the edges of the mesh the mesh itself goes to where we want it to be. At this point, you can even turn on your, um, um, you can even turn on uh, solid fill again so that you can actually see which bits you're covering up and you might want, want to toggle between those two bits even. Again, you don't have to be absolutely precise with this, I mean the sketch that you've got in the background is, isn't necessarily a precise um, sketch anyway um, and we're not really going for precision here and there's always a little bit of um, artistic interpretation that's um, allowed for the 3D modeler at this point. So um, I wouldn't worry too much about being absolutely exact with everything. You can adjust this this is now becoming your interpretation of this dog character and you can make some choices about how you want that dog to look. Okay, so these uh, two pieces here, they're, they're the, um, that's the chest region on the dog. So I'm going to bring those forward a bit. Dog's chest stick out just a bit more. This neck area here, I want it to go back a little bit. It's part of the back here. Probably want that to come up. Again, I'm just going to pop that back into like this. As you're moving these, just keep checking your 3D view because it's possible for you to grab uh, the wrong vertices at this point and then you end up pushing things into the wrong place. Um, which looks right from one view but, but wrong from another view. So for example here it would be easy for me to grab the leg um, and when I actually only want this little bit here to be the one that's moving. Um, at this point you may still find that there are bits where you just can't get the curve you want with the vertices that you have um, and at this point you probably do want to think about um, whether you need to um, add another edge loop. Again, like always, when you're adding an edge loop, remember, think about the damage you're doing to the rest of the mesh. In this case, if I want to add an extra edge loop around here, it's not going to really do any damage to the mesh at all. So I'm just going to come in here, hold down your control key to remember to always do an edge loop, and we'll pop in here and we'll add just one through there like that. Back into vertex editing, and we can now bring that out and get more of a More of the kind of shape that we want. Takes a little bit of getting used to some of these curves um, and understanding how they work, but the more, again, the more you use them, the better an idea you'll get of how they actually work. And you'll find that after a while you can get them to pretty much go where you want them to go reasonably easily.
Remembering here too that I'm just looking at the front view of my dog. I'm not looking at, oh sorry, at the side view of my dog. I'm not really looking at any of the other views. So um, I probably should um, be thinking about this front view again. Oops, as I go through here. Uh, make sure I'm not doing anything really um, dumb with any of this. Probably this part here needs to come up a bit. So what's that? It's the bottom of the dog's chin. I may not actually. I may find that I actually can't do a lot with some of this here. Um, Like I can't get that curve to change, but when I modify this so that I duplicate the other side, a lot of these curves will move out. So there's only so much I can do there. Okay, so once you're more or less happy with the way your um, dog is looking, what we can do is well, pretty soon now we're going to want to actually go back and um, and, and mirror both sides, right? So that we can actually, because some of these curves, especially through here, are going to change when we um, end up with the other side. But it's looking pretty good as it is at the moment. We've got this kind of leg is looking pretty dog-like. Everything's looking pretty nice there. So we can probably um, duplicate our mesh now. So how do we go about doing that? Let's uh, save this. Um, you might even like to give them, you know, different different names, so part four, part five, whatever. Um, and then you can um, easily come back to your mesh at different points during the construction process. Okay, so let's um, merge these two sides. To do that, first of all, it's easiest to work back um, in, um, in block mode. Don't worry that your dog's gonna look really silly now in block mode because remember this is a, like a control mesh for our curves. So it's gonna look a bit different in block mode. But a um, couple of things that we need to do. First thing we need to do is we need to make sure all of these vertices that are on the inside of the mesh here, so all of these ones that are lined up here, we need to make sure they're all in dead alignment with each other and exactly on the center point. And you can see here that some of my meshes, some of my vertices here are not quite aligned up properly. So we need to fix that. The other thing we need to do is we need to get rid of all the faces on the inside, right? Because when we put two meshes together, we don't want to have any of these inside faces here or any, any of these inside vertices either. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into um, face select mode here and we're going to select all of the faces that are on the inside of the mesh. Okay, so these ear ones, they're not on the inside, right? But, and these ones on the leg here aren't, but anything that's on the kind of the body are all on the inside. And then we're going to press delete to delete all of those. So we're going to end up kind of hollowing that side. Um, the other one I missed there was just this one here, but not this one. That one goes in a little bit, right? If you have a look at the top, it's supposed to go in because it's part of its eyebrow. Whereas this one here, nope, that one's got to go. Okay, so once we've got that, the other thing we need to do is go back to vertex select mode. And then on your front view here, draw a line that captures all of the vertices that are supposed to be lined up. So we've got to be careful not to grab the tip of this tail here. And we also want to be careful not to grab that eyebrow area that I mentioned before. So just deselect anything that's not supposed to be selected there. And if you're not sure, you can always go into your 3D view and have a bit of a look there. Okay, so that's looking all right. Once you've got all those selected, we need to align them. And the easiest way to do that is to use your scale tool and then just scale everything in to zero. And when you scale everything, so just drag your scale thing and move it all the way back to the bottom, to, to the baseline there, and that will cause everything to scale. Now, they're not necessarily all going to be lined up uh, perfectly against the grid. So what we're going to do now, once we've done that, is we're going to go back to the W key and we're going to press the X, hold down the X key, and we're going to grab those and just move them back to the center there. So they snap back to the center. Okay, so now they're all aligned and they're all snapped. 
they're all aligned along the um, x-axis here and they're all snapped back to the center so now we can um, go ahead oops now we can go ahead and go back to object mode and we can go ahead and um, and mirror this object the way you go about doing that um, there's there's a few different ways to mirror an object you could if you like just duplicate your mesh um, so shift D or control D um, to duplicate it and then just flip it around um, and then weld the two two sides together um, there's an easier way to do it um, which is quite nice if you want to keep editing um, and that is that you come up uh, to here under your um, uh, edit menu and you go duplicate special and press the little box thing over here and when you go duplicate special uh, make sure start off by making sure all of these values here are zero so scale sh except for scale which should be one on all of them uh, number of copies should be one everything else should be turned off but up here where it says geometry type select instance okay what that'll do is rather than copying the vertices it'll create like a mirror instance of these vertices and whenever we modify them they'll be any modifications we do on one side will be reflected on the other side and then here for scale what we want to do is give it a negative one on the X transform so what that will do is we scale something by a negative amount it basically mirrors it so if I go here and go apply now or click duplicate special you'll see that the dog will be duplicated across like that and better still if I go back into vertex mode because it's an instance if I select over here and change that it'll change the other side as well so I can keep editing my mesh at this point um, and I can see those changes um, actually happening in real time okay so once I'm there I can go back into my um, into my um, smooth mode and now I can see my dog looking much more dog like with all four legs and I get a much better idea and sense of the geometry of the dog and how he's actually working um, bits that I don't like maybe I don't like these lines through here that I can tidy up a little bit um, and anything else now if you've got gaps in your mesh where it, like it hasn't closed up properly it's because your vertices weren't close enough together to each other when you merged them so you need to go back and fix that so I'm just going to save this um, and now last finishing touches are just going in and tidying up all these little bits and pieces so that we make sure that the mesh is um, flowing the way we want it to um, make sure that we've got uh, the curves in the right places and now this is really just the last little bits of detail so you can see here this comes down way too far down here so I want to grab um, that one there and just move that up and this one here move that up maybe move this back a little bit maybe move this one here forward a little bit okay until you got your dog looking the way you want your dog to look again like I said before there's lots of room for a bit of artistic interpretation here um, you can modify this mesh any way you want to get it looking the way you want it to look for the kind of um, character that you're trying to create but um, and gives you basically an idea of, of the, the fundamentals of, of um, creating a, a, a model. Uh, I think I might grab these bits here. So you can see here at the... See so these legs are looking right in terms of their thickness, but they're a little bit wrong in terms of this model here. So I'm going to bring those out 
like that. And these back ones here. And this is what I mean about the dog's leg kind of turning out at the back like this. And these ones here can probably... How about those? How are they sitting in terms of the rest of the mesh here? It's not too bad. They can probably come in a little bit like that. And maybe be a little bit wider. All right, so there we go. That's it. Now your dog's uh, pretty much done. Um, the only thing we could do now is when we're totally happy that this is completely right and we don't want to keep making any more tweaks or anything, um, to move it on to the next stage, we probably um, want to um, want want to effectively freeze this part of the mesh over here. So that we um, have the whole mesh put together as one piece. So to finalize our dog at this point, what we need to do is we need to get these two bits um, together. So what we can do is we can select uh, one side here like this and we can go up to our um, modify menu and go down to convert and select instance to object like that. And what that will do is it will take your instance and it will turn it into a basic object. So if we have a look in our outliner here, you'll see that you've now got two cubes. You've got P cube one and P cube two, which is the left and right of your dog. And what we want to do now is put these two things together into a single object. So what we do is we select both of them by shift clicking and then come up here to this button, which is the combine objects button. So you press combine and you'll see that they'll now become one object. Now that's looking pretty good at this point. You can see that we don't have two sides anymore, but there's still one little problem, and that is <clears throat> not necessarily easily noticeable, but we, there, are a couple, there are a couple of giveaways. If you have a look at the back of your dog, you can see there's a seam that runs down here, and you might be able to notice it in other areas too. There's another seam that runs along the chest here. That seems a giveaway that there are two vertices over the top of each other in this part. So let's have a look in here. Let's go back into object mode and we'll go into vertex mode. And you'll see that if I just click once on there and press my W key, I drag that away and you can see that there's actually two vertices there instead of one. And we don't want two vertices there. So the easiest way to fix that is to um, just select all. So you can go up to your select menu and select all. And then click on this button here. This button here will look at any vertices that are close together and it will merge them. So we just click on that. And it's got a distance threshold of 0.01. That's, it's important that that's reasonably small so that it merges only the ones that are on top of each other and not the ones that are uh, close to each other. And then if we have a look at our, our model, you'll see that um, if we go back out of back into object mode and click off. You can see that seam there, it's gone now. And if we go in here into um, vertex mode and we click there and we press our W key and we move that, you can see that there's only one vertex there. And there's our dog, pretty much complete. Don't forget to save it. Um, and uh, now we can go ahead and do other things with our dog, um, including texturing it, for example, and making it look uh, like it's got a pink nose and all the rest of it. That's for another tutorial.